Hi everybody, so today is May 2nd, 2020 and today is Pilates Day and instead of doing a class or posting a video of me doing a class or posting a picture of me teaching a class or doing a Pilates move, I thought that I would spend just a little bit of time explaining to you why it is that I, Kita Marie, love Pilates so much. So for some of you, you may know that I'm not just an attorney at law, but I'm also a dancer. I've been dancing since the age of four. I've been dancing for 36 years. And dance is a huge part and has always been a huge part of my life. Now at the age of 22, I got injured while performing on stage. And after doing all of my physical therapy and everything, I did feel a little bit of relief, but my back didn't feel the same. It just didn't feel like it was a part of my body. That's the only way I could explain it. And so my mother one day suggested that I accompany her to a Pilates class. Cause she said, maybe it will help. And that was the best advice that she could have given. It was life changing, literally. I went to that first Pilates class, which was taught by Margaret Schwab at Afia Studio, right here in Kingston, Jamaica. And I enjoyed it so much that I kept going back. I was blessed to be taught by persons such as Natasha Abrahams, Sunita Abrahams, Marion Robinson, and I completely fell in love with the system. So much so that I eventually became certified myself by David Brown out of New York and continued to teach to this day. Since my initial certification training with David Brown, I have done other professional qualifications in Pilates, one of which was with the American Fitness Professional Association. The other one was with Cathy Bond hailing from Canada. Over the years, I've become more and more aware of my body through this practice of Pilates. And I've used this awareness to help other persons similar to me who have either been injured or recently recovering from injuries to get them back to a lifestyle where they can manage themselves physically and to return to some kind of lifestyle of physical activity. I continue to dance. Early this week we celebrated International Dance Day. So this week was a big milestone week for me because as a dancer and a Pilates instructor, I of course felt like I had to celebrate both. So as we celebrate Pilates Day today and early this week International Dancers Day, I just like to thank all the persons who have been instrumental to me personally in bringing me to where I am now in my Pilates journey. Pilates allowed me to continue dancing long after being injured so many years ago and it has kept me standing and it has kept me through many other physical ailments that have come my way and I'm just really fortunate that I have been able to help other persons along their journey of self-discovery, body alignment, mind, body, soul and Pilates is just that. It is mind, body, soul. Once you start on a Pilates regimen, you will notice the immediate difference between Pilates and any other exercise system out there. I can surely tell you that Pilates is worth it. So what I'd encourage you to do is this week, try a class. Lots of classes are being held online during this tumultuous time. I have classes as well, but you don't have to do one of mine. You can find any class available online, on YouTube, at your nearest studio. Most studios are offering classes online and I encourage you to just try it. Don't just look, try it. It is deceptive because it might appear to be easy, but it really isn't. You will find that if you really focus and do it properly, you will discover muscles that you have never used before. As we bring a close to Pilates Day, let's make it Pilates Week. And I challenge you to try a class. Try a class. I think you'll like it. Thank you everyone again for continuing to support me during this time and I look forward to seeing you next time on the mat. Bye.